everybody asks me again welcome back to my channel and for those of you who don't know I'm Tina hi yes today we are going to be doing a fashion haul and try on it's not going to be a very long one because I didn't buy much but I wanted to pick up a new pair of pants a shirt to go with it and I also wanted to buy a nighty with a little you know shawl thing with it so um, these came from Women's Within, and no, I still don't know what size I wear. I have lost 150 pounds, and if you want, um, if you want to see what I looked like before losing the 150 pounds, let's go to my first video that I ever did, and you can you can see it in my face in that video. But yeah, I went to Women's Within. And I'm not sure if I've ever told you, I probably have, but I have bipolar and I'll have like manic attacks and then I'll have down, you know, down attacks. But um, you, sometimes with my manic attacks, I will go shopping <laughs> when I shouldn't. And this was one of those nights where I was having a manic attack and I decided, oh, I'm just going to go look at, you know, some clothes on Women's Within. And, you know, I went to the clearance section, you know, and this, I found a couple items. And I was thinking to myself at the time, you know, oh, I, I need new clothes because all my bag, my, all my clothes are so baggy. And so, yeah, I picked up a, um, a size smaller than what I would normally get. What size did I buy? I need my glasses because I can't see. So, put on my glasses. Ow, I felt that. Um, these are a 34 wide. And I believe that I had bought 34s and they were, they were good. But, or either that or they were too big still. <laughs> so, we'll find out when we try on these pants, which I'm going to show you. These are capris that I purchased. And... They're stretchy and they do look awful big. I'm hoping that they will fit But these ones here they have like this embroidered Bottom part here and I saw that and that's what turned me on to these and with it You know it's spring now and I thought you know some capris would look really nice and Instead of wearing shorts. I hate wearing shorts. I don't look like showing off my flabby legs <laughs> So yeah, capris are definitely, you know, a better idea for me. And I just thought these are really cute, a little pair of blue jeans with the little, you know, embroidered flower here on the leg. And I think it's just one leg. Yeah, it's just on one leg. But yeah, I bought these, which we will try on. And I did buy another pair of pants, but they weren't from Women's Within. They were from Walmart. Now, last year, I believe it was, I believe I told you guys, I had a pair of white, um, they were from Terra Sky, and I had a pair of white um, jeggings, and I had a pair of a light blue jegging, and um, uh, the day of my brother's uh, wedding, I wore the white pants, and I could barely get them up, and they were like super tight. But I wore them anyways because I wanted to wear them with my pretty shirt that was white with pretty flowers on it. And so, you know, after that, I, I didn't wear them for a while. And then one day I decided to pull them out and, you know, see how they fit. And they, they fit me perfectly. They weren't too tight and I was so excited. I was like, yay, now I can wear my pretty white jeans. But that night, I don't know what I did. I might have just, you know, forgot to t pick them up and put them on my I usually put them on top of my trash can lid and so the next day I could put them back on because I usually wear my clothes two days in a row but when I woke up that next day I noticed that Maggie had ate the crotch out of my pretty white jeans I was like oh no I forgot to keep them up and I'm not so sure exactly how she got a hold of my light blue jeans that were actually the same size as the white ones which fit perfectly and she got a hold of those ones as well and ripped the crotch out and she has she'll do the same thing with Josie's clothes Anthony's clothes whether they're clean or dirty I know I caught her on one uh, one of my videos I was talking about her like in um, you know chew up crotches and clothes 
And I took my eye off her for like two seconds. We were doing like a come fold laundry, you know, with me. And we were chatting and I took my eye off her for two seconds and she managed to get a hold of Anthony's underwear in the laundry and chewed a hole in it within, I think it was just like a couple minutes. I just wasn't watching her. I thought it was safe because they were clean clothes. and It was the first time that she had done it. And I was like, oh. you know, so yeah, I make sure I, you know, put everything up, which, uh, that I just didn't do it that day. I wasn't thinking, or I thought she might have outgrown it because she hadn't done it in a while. But yeah, she done that and she chewed up my, she chewed it up and it was so sad. I was so, so sad. But when I went shopping the other day, every time I go shopping at Walmart, I check over in their terrace sky to see if they have their white jeans out and they finally had them. But I didn't realize at the time when I bought them that they are capris. And I wore a pair of them because I wore the, I bought white and I bought the light blue to replace the ones that Maggie enjoyed chewing up. But yeah, this is the white ones, but they are capris and they fit perfectly. And I love them. The only problem with white, anything you get on it, it shows, <laughs> It just shows right up. So yeah, we'll be trying these on. And I did buy a shirt, it was on clearance. I got a 4X, usually I buy 5Xs this year. I think this is a 4X, I'm not sure. It is really baggy on me. I'll have to check when I go to do the try-ons, if I remember, because my memory is like that bad. But I just thought this shirt was really pretty and it was on clearance. I can't remember how much I paid for it but it's purple and it will go pretty with anything because it has pink in it and purple and more purple. It has lots of purples in it, but look at this design. Here, look at the design. Isn't that beautiful? I was, I was surprised to be able to find it in my size, unless it's too big, in my size in clearance. I, I was shocked because usually it's just the solid colors that are on clearance, but yeah, they had this one in my size. Yes, I was surprised. Now this here is the nightgown, and it also has like, um, you know, a shawl kind of thing goes over it. You know, like a little robe. Now when I was looking at this, I was thinking, oh, maybe I should get the 5X, you know, that way it's, you know, not tight on me and it's loose, but I was like, no, I'm going to get the 4X, and if it doesn't fit for some un unknown reason, it's very silky. It's not silk, but it feels silky. You know, for some reason it doesn't fit, then, you know, then I'll just have to wait until it does, but this looks huge. So hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll fit me. It is a 4X. You know, it might, it might be okay. It might be okay. It might just look big to me. But look at the roses. Isn't it gorgeous? It's a light blue. I'm not sure if you could tell that. It is not a light blue, but a dark, you know, a dark navy blue. And then it has like these beautiful dark pink and light pink roses on it. I just thought it was stunning. This was in clearance as well. I can't remember the, you know, the price I paid. But it was in clearance, and here is the matching shawl, or bathrobe, or whatever you want to call it. And it's got like pretty, you know, lacy sides. And it has, it does have a, you know, one of these things. And if I can put it on without showing anything, I will, you know, put it on and let you see it. But yeah. It's nice and long too. It'll probably go to my knees. I'm thinking it'll definitely go to my knees because I am tall. I have a long torso. <laughs> so I'm thinking it will reach my knees. So we're gonna go and try these on. I'm gonna stop the camera for a moment and I will be back with one of the items I just shown you. I'll be right back. Okay, here is the first one that I tried on and 
It is a little big on me. It's just like, let me bring you around here so you can actually see me. Yep. Yep, it's nice, but the straps are, I'll just see if I can adjust the straps because they're quite loose. But yeah, the um, the coat fits perfectly. You know, if I wanna, you know, if I wanna put the strap on or not, I can you know close it up for some privacy in case my you know my son's downstairs, so I'm not showing off things he don't want to see and things I don't want to show. But yeah, it's it's comfortable. It's cool. You know, with it being you know spring it's like 80 degrees so yeah it's nice and comfy too yeah you have to let me know down in the comments if you think it's pretty i gotta, I gotta be careful with the i gotta be careful about the top because it does hang low but i'm gonna go get the next one i'll be right back okay we are back with the capris, the blue jean capris that I got from Women's Within, and here's the 4X shirt, and I think it fits pretty well. It's not too snug, but that could change after after I wash it. But yeah, and the, the jeans, the jeans are too big. I was able to pull them up without having to unbutton them or anything but I don't know let me point you point you down so you can see the bottom of the pants okay and there you go there's the bottoms do you think it looks cute do you think it looks good on me little um spring outfit with the capris yeah I mean, they're comfortable, you know, they're not too tight. Yeah, you'll have to let me know down in the comments what you think. I'm going to go get the white ones. I'll be right back. Okay, we are back with the same shirt, but now I have on the white leggings. And I did the white ones last because I plan on keeping them on because I knew they would fit perfectly. You know, the thing is with me, I have these huge saddlebag hips, but my legs are skinnier. So I have to wear a bigger size to fit around my gut. Not to mention I have the, the hernia right here. I'm not sure if you've ever seen it. It's like right here. That's the belly button hernia. And you have to know that it's huge because right here's my, my sides. And it would have to go all the way up here for it to be poking out. Because, um, can you see it? I'm not sure if you can see it or not. Yeah, it was, it's like right here. It's all, that is belly button hernia. And I was told that, you know, I would have to, you know, lose weight to be able to have surgery on it. Hey, little girl. Come here. Let me, let me sit down and I'll hold you. Yeah, I was told that I would have to lose weight to be able to get the surgery done to fix it, which is understandable. They wanted me to go through the um, gastric bypass, you know, but I was like, no, you know, I'll just you know, change my habits and lose it on my own, which I have been. It's just, it's just not falling off as fast as I want it to, but you know, I, I learned a long time ago that if you lose it too fast or you're like using some kind of, you know, gimmick to help you lose weight and you go back to eating, you know, after you've lost the weight, you go back to eating, you know, how you were before you started whatever diet you, you were doing. And then you'll just, you know, gain it all back. And so that's, 
and I I've tried I've tried many a diet. Yeah, I tried like um I actually once went to this one place, paid like five hundred dollars for you know, they did counseling and stuff like that and that didn't last long because you know they gave you a list of the foods you could eat and after I would eat what you know what the portion sizes and everything of what they gave me I would be so hungry I would be start because you had to wait you know a certain amount of time before you could eat again and I was starving and then on top of that you know my kids because my kids are quite young at that time but you know they were eating you know what they wanted and my ex-husband you know he was you know getting takeout and stuff and you know and here I am salivating I was just so hungry but yeah I just find well you know it might work for you guys out there but it just didn't work for me so you know I had to do it the way I'm doing it it seems to be working I'm able to keep it off I've been stuck at um about 321 and it'll, I'll like gain a few pounds or I'll lose a few pounds but yeah that is it my story on my weight loss journey yeah Yamagi's over here licking my hand it's, it's her binky she's got to lick my hand before she goes to sleep yeah it's like a little baby with her binky because she'll lick my hands and then She'll get tired and then she'll fall asleep. It's so pretty. I love her. And I noticed when I was editing my videos, um, my hair, it looks so terrible underneath this hair topper because of how dark it is. And I haven't dyed it in forever because, you know, up here underneath the hair topper, I have, I have hardly any hair. Yeah, it's even worse than, you know, the last time I showed it to you. And I'm afraid if I dye it, you know, blonde, it'll, more of it'll fall out. But I'm going to have to because it just looks so bad, you know, being so dark underneath it. Because it's like a dark, dark brown, which is my natural hair color. And from, you know, what I was seeing was just a section here, which is all gray. And it, to me, at least in my opinion, I didn't think it looked too bad. But, you know, when I saw the back, when I was editing those videos, I was like, Tina... You need to get a, uh, a dye gel. You need to dye your hair. But I think I have one in there, but it might be really old. I'm not sure if they expire or not. I'm sure they do, you know, but I think I'll just throw that one away and just buy a new one. Yes, I think that's what I'll do. And dye my hair, and I'm sure it looks so much better. And pray to God above that it doesn't fall out more. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the clothing that I showed you. Uh, Women's Within usually has some really good deals when it comes to clearance. You know, you should go check them out. I'm not sponsored. You know, I just wanted to show you what I did pick out. But thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Over here will be my little face. You could click on it if you want to subscribe. And up here is a playlist that I chose that I think you might enjoy watching. And over here is a video YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. But again, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video. Cheers, yes. Bye. Oh, let me know down in the comments which one you thought was the best.